My name's Diana U. Pritchard and I'm founder of Dolly Clothing. I guess I'm a seamstress or, or a seamster. I make clothes. My whole business is about clothing. So whether it's actually making them from scratch for my clothing collection, or I also run a service, an alteration service. I run events as well about clothing, about sustainable clothing. Um, I also teach sewing. Last March, obviously, um, we went into lockdown and um, at that point, the NHS were desperate for, for scrubs and the government couldn't act really, really quick enough. It was absolutely astonishing, um, this whole um, project that really overtook the whole of the UK. Seamstresses and places and people who could sew um, decided they would make scrubs. So I set up a scrub hub. I set up a funding page and within like a couple of weeks, we'd raised 12,000 pounds. I bought thousands of litres of polyfoton, which had to be the right specification for scrubs. I designed a pattern. I had my scrubs cut out by like 300 at a time. And then we kitted them out. So we put like three in a kit. I made a video on how to make them. And literally they flew out the door. We had 250 people sign up to the scrub hub. We were open every day. It was all voluntary. And um, they were able to just sew them up, look at the video, bring them back, take another kit. We made about three and a half thousand sets of scrubs between us. It inspired me to um, work with the local community and keep working at like a social enterprise. My average working day is a bit of a mashup. I have a shop, so I call it my studio because I'm there, the customers can come in and out of my shop and um, they can buy stuff. When there aren't customers coming in, I'm um, making stuff, designing stuff, working on my marketing. During the day I might teach a class, like an after school class, so students will come into my studio and be learning how to sew. Um, but also before that I'll have um, customers coming in and out with their alterations and we'll chat about what they want doing, how they want their things mending. The rest of the time I'm working on my clothing collection. I might spend a bit of my day um, filming or researching fabrics. Obviously, my favourite subject was, well, maybe not obviously, it was art. I was very good at art, but I very much liked history and geography as well, which is why I think perhaps I've gone in the direction of um, my sustainable clothing, because I am quite interested in the, the planet as well. It's been a long journey to get to where I am now. I did my A-levels and then I did an Art and Design Foundation course and my teacher said to me, no, I don't think you're right for fashion. So I went and did um, a three-year Art and Design course in Illustration and Graphics and spent most of my time making my own clothes and doing illustration but veering towards um, printmaking, um, which was slightly sort of textile uh, direction. And then I did an MA in illustration part time um, and started printing t-shirts while I was doing that and, and things like that. And then I decided actually I wanted a job and I didn't want to be freelance anymore and did a PGCE, which is a teacher training and spent 10 years teacher doing a school teacher, secondary school teacher teaching art. And then I had my children and was at home and started sewing again. And uh, gradually, gradually, um, it just built um, built up into what I do now. I've been doing it for about, I'd say 10 years. I've been, I've had Dolly clothing. It's still evolving the last two years, the last six months, it's changed into something else. And now I really feel like this is it. My inspiration to set up Dolly is the past, the future, it's, it's, it's my mum. She was a seamstress, Dillies, and she had a little business that she ran from home. So I learnt my skill from my mum. And also I have three teenagers and they inspire me um, every day with their choice of clothing, their choice of style, that what they want to do with their clothes. They're also um, very passionate about the planet 
saving the planet and sustainability as well. And then I watched a film called The True Cost and it was about the fast fashion industry. It really shocked me and upset me about um, what, what our clothes and our choice of clothing and choice of where we buy clothes is doing to our world and also to the people who make our clothes. It really steered me into a direction of sustainability. My main top tip um, in, in being self-employed, starting your own business is never give up just never give up and there's been many times when I've just thought oh, this, I, that didn't work I've tried things it's an idea I've, 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 I've rented a space and it didn't work try and listen all the time hold on to your passion and what you believe in but also realize that it is something that you've got to know that people want so it's a it's a kind of you've got to keep that flow of your creativity and producing something that you love to do, but also keep an eye on what are people wanting? What do they need to know from you? Keep going and believe in what you're doing.